Hey there, what's going on? It's I'm Indie 503. How are you doing today? Anyway, so I've got my dual amp, my four channel to go with my head unit right here, which only has a two channel amp, but like I said, this is just temporary right here. Um, I really do want to upgrade something much better in the future. Uh, but like I said, I'm just trying out this touch screen thing. I'm not really a big fan of using something like this in the car. Um, I like physical buttons, and again, I, you know, if I'm going to use a touchscreen, I just use, like, my phone up here, you know what I mean? So, got the dual amp, and what we're going to do is that we're going to go ahead and do it a quick install. Now, I thought I'd go ahead and just do a quick unboxing, and I'll just turn these lights on so you can actually see what I'm doing. So, um, it took me a long time to get this, because, like, if you walk into an auto zone, like, I'm, I'm literally, like, at an auto zone, like, right now, right? And so the thing is, you have to have the part number to buy anything or to see if they have it in stock, okay? Um, and that's really important because their computers don't actually work on the internet for some reason. And even the dude's phone didn't work. So, and mine was just like flipping out. So, um, for my phone, which is a ZTZ Max Pro, oh yeah, dude. Um, uh, Walmart Mobile no longer really wants to support it anymore because they're moving over to 4G. So I'm just going to be like going with like another mobile company soon. Um, if not, just buy a new phone when I get around to it. I'd like a new Samsung again. That would be cool. But <clears throat> I really like my ZTZ Max Pro. It's just that, man, yeah, it's no longer supported anymore. So I might just go ahead and go with the custom kernel. But enough of that BS. So, so you actually have speaker wire inputs, digital, blah, blah, blah. But this has line level inputs, basically. And so the guy just got it out of the box. And so, oh, yeah, cool. Everything's in the box. They just took it out of the thing, so it's good. It's completely sealed, nothing to worry about, so I'm fine. I'm going to be going home. We're going to be doing this install, but before I do that, I am going to get myself a really good cup of coffee. I mean, a cup of coffee that's, like, really good. That's what I'm going to do next, and then we're going to go ahead and pull this out. I'm going to do the amp wire stuff that I need to do and call it a day. Um, you know, I mean, like... I just, I want to do the install right, and I'm probably going to go and get the 4-gauge wire that I need, and I'm pro I could have just picked that up here, but they didn't have any 4-gauge install kits, so I'll probably just go to Walmart or something like that and just get a Sush install kit. Not really too happy with the Sush install kits, but anyway, I do have a lot of 0-gauge, but, uh, you know, that's kind of like overkill. I really should run some, but who knows, I might still... But I'll just figure it out later. Anyway, um, so at least I got this, and hopefully I'll have it installed probably by tonight. See you guys later.